Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. When I looked at this project, Dagas, I was sort of confused for a moment that if it's a real thing or just some made up stuff. Let me show you what I mean. Let me just scroll down onto this project page and run a video. Let's watch this one. We propose Dagas detailed expressions on full body Gaussian avatars. I'm going to stop the sound, but just look at it. And these are full body avatars created from AI. These are not real. Isn't it simply fascinating? So now I will let it play and try to describe what is happening here. So Dagas, which is the name of this project, is the first 3D Gaussian splatting based method for creating full body avatars with rich facial expressions. It can generate photorealistic renderings of human avatars with detailed body motions and facial expressions. The method uses a conditional variational autoencoder or CVAE trained on multi-view videos to generate Gaussian maps in the UV layout of SMPLX. Instead of using 3D morphable models or 3D MMs for facial control, Degas adopts an expression latent space trained solely on 2D portrait images. This allows for more subtle and accurate facial expressions as you can see here. The system takes body pose parameter from SMPLX for body motion control and uses a pre-trained expression encoder from DPE or disentanglement of pose and expression for facial expressions. Degas outperforms state-of-the-art methods in both qualitative and quantitative evaluations on existing datasets and a newly proposed dream avatar datasets as you can see on your screen. Now, it just doesn't confine itself to this. This uh, method can be extended to audio-driven avatar animation by utilizing 2D talking face generation techniques like SAD Talker. Dagas achieves real-time frame rates which is 30 frames per second and has a more efficient training process compared to some existing methods. The approach bridges a gap between 2D talking um, face models and 3D avatars opening new possibilities for interactive AI agents and teleconferencing applications. Let me play this one. So this is the dream avatar data set which I was referring to and we also saw an example of it above. Look at this amazing, amazing stuff. And it is including all the facial expression. You see surprise and then smile and then uh, they are just jogging, walking, laughing, angry, surprise. Simply amazing. All AI based. And this is a dream avatar which is specifically designed for evaluating full body talking avatars with rich facial expressions. Same goes for this example. Look at this one. It is person sequence one, uh, person one sequence two. And then look at this one. This is the person two sequence two. Cool. And similarly, look at this one. How good is that? Does it look real, isn't it? Look at her. Looks so real. And then this is all reenactments here. Let me play this one. Once upon a time, there was a very hungry... Turn off the sound here. Now, Degas can be trained with sparse camera views as few as 3 bay while still producing decent quality results. And let me quickly show you the pipeline which they have developed. So the Dagas takes uh, face signals from the pre-trained expression encoder of DPE, which is injected to the body signal from SMPLX. The pose-dependent Gaussian maps generated by the convolutional decoder are, are applied to the pose-independent maps for 3DGS rendering. And that is all there is to it. Very simple yet very powerful as you can already tell. So. In summary, the main contribution you can see here is that 
they have this first 3DGS based method for full body talking to fully avatars, understand he- um, and a multi view capture data set of full body avatars with fish, uh, rich facial expressions. And they have proposed is driving 3D avatars with the 2D talking faces, bridging the gap between these two research topics and opening new possibilities. So amazing, amazing stuff. But of course, like anything, they also have some limitations. For example, if you um, go through it, it will you will see that the pre-trained expression encoder from DPE that they have explored in this paper has advantage of um, being trained with a large collection of face images. Yet the quality of the 2D uh, talking faces method itself limits the reenactment quality of their method. And they do observe pose and identity related information being not fully disentangled from the expression. But I think that will be fixed very, very soon. So I think that this is an expression latent space pre-trained solely on 2D talking faces. It is a better choice for the reenactment of 3D avatars opening new possibilities to interactive lifelike agents. Maybe another steps towards AGI. So that's it guys. Let me know what do you think. I'm very impressed by this. Uh, I think one of the really interesting projects so far. I will drop the link to its project page in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.